Army Air Force nurses arrive in China to join air squadrons fighting the Japs in the Far East. They are greeted by Chinese nurses who trained in America. Veterans of other campaigns, the girls are made to feel right at home by their Chinese friends. On the Burma front, powerful Indian elephants aid British engineers in hauling guns into new positions. Traditional beasts of burden in this part of the world, the huge animals are invaluable allies. A new recruit learning the ways of the jungle. Trained to drag, push, lift, and roll heavy objects, a single elephant does the work of many laborers. The beautiful actress Carol Lombard, who met death in an air crash while touring the country selling war bonds, is honored by her countrymen. A giant new liberty ship, the SS Carol Lombard, is named in honor of the star whose motion pictures were known around the world. Lieutenant Commander Robert Montgomery and Miss Lombard's husband, Captain Clark Gable, are here as Irene Dunn smashes the traditional bottle against the ship's bow. With this great merchant ship, the American people pay tribute to an ardent patriot. Carriers of a United States task force steam to attack Japanese bases in the Marshall Islands. On flight decks, fighter planes and dive bombers are rolled into position. The Marshall Islands in mid-Pacific have great strategic value. In the half-light just before dawn, planes roar down the runway, their motors breathing fire. As they near their objective, enemy planes rise to meet the attack. Navy cameras synchronized with blazing guns record the battle from every angle. One after another, Jap pilots are sent flaming into the sea. Returning to the carrier to refuel and rearm, the first wave of pilots reports to the bridge. Japanese torpedo planes are en route to threaten the American task force. Anti-aircraft guns go into action. are beaten off, 85 enemy planes destroyed in this one operation. Meanwhile, other forces are striking at New Britain. Two years in Japanese hands, the island is heavily fortified. From Cape Gloucester on one side and Bougainville on the other, Allied forces drive against the Jap base at Rabaul. On shipboard, Major General Rupertus, commanding United States Marines, sees giant Liberator bombers launch the softening up attack. ships circle into firing position and begin a terrific bombardment of enemy positions ashore. The hour of invasion. Marines go into action. 
veterans of this island warfare, they swarm into landing boats for the swift assault upon the shoreline. The invasion fleet roars in behind death-dealing firepower. giant tank-carrying ships, heavy equipment, artillery, tanks, roll ashore to support the infantry. Tanks lead the way. Squads of riflemen in close formation follow in their tracks. This is how the Marines advanced inland from their beachhead to the Cape Gloucester airstrip. Mortars lay down a continuous barrage. The enemy was apparently taken by surprise. Japs in dugouts and trenches are destroyed. Their planes never left the ground. Heavy rains and seemingly impassable jungle streams fail to stop the Americans as they push on toward Rabaul. Pressing steadily forward, men and machines make their way through mud and mire. These are some of the barriers on the road to Tokyo. With grim determination, Australians and Americans are meeting the challenge.